HubSpot calls its AI features Breeze because they're designed to be easy to use and refreshingly helpful. Let's put them to the test and see if they're as easy breezy as the name suggests. I'm Kyle, and this is How to HubSpot. Breeze is a collection of AI-powered tools that have been woven into the fabric of the HubSpot platform. There's Breeze Copilot, which is a virtual assistant that works alongside you. There are Breeze agents that are virtual experts that you can delegate tasks to. And there's Breeze Intelligence, which supercharges your CRM with data enrichment and buyer intent data. There are a host of other AI features that have been sprinkled throughout HubSpot to make your job easier. But is it as easy as it implies, or is AI just another tool you're gonna have to learn how to use? Let's investigate together and see what we find out. And in case you didn't know, a lot of these AI features are included in the free version of HubSpot. So if you hit the link in the description below, you can follow along. Let's hop into HubSpot and see how Breeze works. Here I am on the Breeze overview page, which you can access by finding the Breeze menu in this left-hand navigation and going to overview. The first Breeze feature I want to talk to you about is Copilot. Copilot is accessible on almost every page inside of HubSpot. You just come up to this top navigation bar and click Copilot, and it opens in this sidebar, ready to assist you. If you're curious all the things Copilot can do, you can click this See More Prompts button and get an overview of all the things you can ask it for. But in general, if you have questions about your data or need help with something, Copilot is here to help. Let's say I'm curious how many deals I've created. I can just ask Copilot this question, and instead of me clicking around the CRM, looking up the deals page or pulling a report, in just a few seconds, it gives me a count of my deals. Now, the real power of Copilot is unveiled when you start using it in your day-to-day -day work. So let's imagine I'm looking at a contact and I want a little help from Breeze Copilot. Let's navigate over to the contact section of the CRM. So let's imagine I met a contact at a trade show and I want to follow up with them. I can come find them in the contact section of my CRM and there's a button to summarize a contact with Copilot. What Copilot will do here is look at all the information in the CRM and give me a little one paragraph summary of information about this contact. And now if I want to write an email, I can actually ask Copilot to write the first draft for me. I just need to tell it what this email is about. So following up about a trade show. So what Copilot has given me here is a first draft of the email. I can personalize it and make it my own, but I have a starting point now. I never have to face a blank canvas inside of HubSpot with Copilot at my side. One thing that's nice about Copilot is that it follows you throughout the HubSpot platform. So as you move from tool to tool, it'll always be there to help out. Let's say now I'm done on the contacts page and I want to go build some content. If I come over to the content menu item, there are lots of different kinds of content I can build in HubSpot. Perhaps today I'm looking to build a landing page. As I go, Copilot comes with me and it remembers our conversation. We can keep chatting if we need to. And if I want to hop into a particular page and edit it, Copilot will be there also. So take a look at this. I'll open this Contact Us page. So here's my landing page. And as you can see, I've not gotten very far with it. I need to add some text here. What I can do is open up Copilot and ask it to give me a first draft. It will think for a couple of seconds, and it'll give me a first version of this page. And I can read through this and decide whether I like it or not. If I do like it, I can just click the Insert button to put it right in. But let's say I want to refine it a little bit. Maybe I want to make this shorter. Copilot will take my feedback, and it will revise its draft to give me a new one. And if I look through this and decide it's good, I can click the Insert button, and it goes immediately into the page I'm working on. And because Copilot is part of the HubSpot platform, it isn't limited to accessing just the tools you're working on right now. Take a look at this. So let's say I want to embed a form on this landing page, but I can't remember all the forms I have. I can ask Copilot. Here's a list of all the forms inside my HubSpot account. If I want a deeper look, I can click and view individual forms so I know exactly what I'm working with. Now, once somebody submits the form on this landing page, you might want to trigger some sort of automation using workflows. But let's say you're new to HubSpot and you don't know how to do that. You can ask Copilot. And it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions for how to do the thing you asked. In this case, create a workflow. What if I just ask Copilot to build the workflow for me? Copilot will think for a few seconds. And now it has created this workflow for me. Take a look at this. Without having to do any of the steps of creating this workflow, I now have this piece of automation that anytime the contact sales form is submitted, the welcome email automatically gets sent. 
So this is really exciting. Anywhere you are inside of HubSpot, Copilot's gonna be right there by your side, ready to help. Whether you need it to compose or revise some content, or you want some instructions that you can follow step-by-step -step for how to do something in HubSpot, or you wanna delegate an entire task to Copilot and have it do it for you, it's there to help any way it can. Now let's talk about Breeze agents. Breeze Copilot, as you just saw, is a bit of a generalist. It follows you everywhere you go, and it can help with a lot of little things throughout the HubSpot platform. Breeze agents, are specialists. They go deep in one particular set of tasks so that you can fully delegate those responsibilities to them. Let's take a look. So here we are back on the Breeze overview page under this Breeze menu. And if you scroll down, you can see descriptions of the different agents. Different hubs have different agents. In Content Hub, you have Content Agent, and that's the one I'd like to show you now. So let's click this Launch button. Here's the page for Content Agent. And if you come down here, you can see the different tasks it can do. Now remember, Copilot could help you build a landing page. It could revise your text, but Content Agent can create an entire landing page from scratch. Similarly, it can create podcast episodes, it can create case studies, and it can create entire blog posts. For each of these jobs, you just click the Launch button and follow the prompts. For this example, let's create a case study. So if we click Launch, so now we will give the agent the information it needs to create a remarkable case study. Because this is connected to the CRM, we can come in here and find companies we've worked with. For example, let's say we're creating a case study for the work we've done with Casio. Up here, we're going to give a brief overview of the topic or idea we want this case study to address. Now come down to the bottom right corner and click Select Title, and HubSpot will use some SEMrush data to do some research to recommend some titles to us. These are editable if you see one you kind of like but want to put your own spin on it, but let's just select one, and now we can add some documents. This is where the power of working with Content Agent really comes to light. If you have documentation to support your case study, you can upload it here, and Breeze will analyze it and turn it into a case study. So if you have call transcripts or interviews you've recorded, emails you've sent back and forth, white papers you've written, Whatever the case may be, you can upload it and the Breeze agent will go through and pull out stats and quotes and all the things that make a case study remarkable. Now you can see we have a first draft of this case study. We have the title we selected, down here are some stats from the documents we provided, a quote, all the things you need to make a good case study. Now you can go in and edit it to make sure it matches your vision. So that gives you a taste of what Content Agent can do. But remember, Breeze has other agents as well. There's Social Agent inside a Marketing Hub, which not only drafts social posts for you, but can give you recommendations of when to publish them. There's also a Prospecting Agent inside Sales Hub, which will research sales contacts and do outreach to them. And there's a Customer Agent, which can handle live chat inquiries on your website, referencing your knowledge base and other documentation. Next up is Breeze Intelligence. Now, Breeze Intelligence is a little different from the features we've already seen. Copilot and Agents are all about helping you as an individual contributor move faster. Breeze Intelligence is more about the quality of the data inside your CRM. Whether that data is being used by you or your teammates or Copilot or an agent, it's really important that that data be clean and accurate so that you can make good business decisions. Breeze Intelligence will enrich your CRM records to give you as full and accurate a picture as possible of your customers and prospects. Let's take a look. So here we are back on the Breeze overview page, and this time we're going to click Explore Intelligence to learn a little bit about Breeze Intelligence. This page gives you an overview of what Breeze Intelligence entails. Now there are some fancy terms in here like LLMs and AI, basically the same technology that powers tools like ChatGPT is being used here to improve the data inside your CRM. And if you scroll down, you'll see the three main features that make up Breeze Intelligence. Now these three features are all really powerful. The first is data enrichment, which is going to fill in gaps in your data. So if you have a contact record or a company record where you're missing pieces of information, we can use AI to fill those in. Next is buyer intent which is a tool that makes it possible for you to learn things about companies that may be visiting your website anonymously. And the third one is form shortening, which uses that same data enrichment technology to fill in form fields on your website. So when visitors come and they're filling out a form, the AI can fill in fields for them, so they have to do a lot less work, but you still get a lot more data. Let's take a look at the buyer intent tool. So we'll go ahead and click this try buyer intent button, 
and we get brought to the buyer intent tool. Now, if you ever wanna get here, notice that the marketing menu is highlighted. Buyer intent is considered a marketing tool. You can find it right here very easily. The first thing we wanna do is configure this tool. So we'll click on configuration up at the top, and there are a few things we're gonna do. First, let's set up a target market. You can create multiple target markets, and depending on who you do business with, you're gonna put different information in here. It may be industries or company keywords. You build this out so that HubSpot knows who it is you're trying to sell to. Next is intent criteria. Here you're going to tell Breeze Intelligence what counts as buyer intent. Which pages on your website indicate that someone is interested in buying from you? Things like pricing pages or a contact sales page are always a safe bet here. You can set up the different paths that you're interested in, and you can choose how long you want this to be relevant. If someone visited your pricing page today, that is really exciting and shows a lot of intent. If they haven't visited in more than a year, maybe they're slightly less intent now, and so you'll want to temper your expectations. Once you have your target markets and intent criteria set up, you can come over to the company's page and see who is visiting your website. If you have a HubSpot website, this will work automatically. If you're using a different website, you'll want to copy this tracking code from the configuration page and embed it. Either way, once that's set up, companies in your target market who are showing intent will be listed here and you can add them to your CRM and start working them. The other big feature in Breeze Intelligence that I wanna show you is data enrichment. So if we head over to the CRM, let's take a look at a company. So here on the companies page, I can see all the companies I've saved in my CRM. And if I click on one, I can look at its individual company record. And there's a lot of information here that may have come from a variety of sources. Maybe I added it manually, maybe it came from some sort of integration. But if I want to enrich this record, I can do that by coming to the Actions menu and clicking the Enrich Record button. What I'm seeing here is a list of all the properties Breeze Intelligence has values for, for this particular company. I can get employee range, country and region code, and so on. I can check and uncheck boxes for each of the fields I'm interested in, and then I can click Enrich Record to have the Breeze Intelligence values inserted into my CRM. So we've covered the three main features of Breeze AI inside HubSpot, Copilot, Agents, and Intelligence. But these aren't all the AI features inside HubSpot. Sprinkled across the platform are a lot of different AI tools and updates to help you do your work better. And there you have it. HubSpot's AI-powered tools are a breeze to use. Be sure to give Breeze a try by clicking the link in the description below. Let me know in the comments what other features you'd like to see. I'm Kyle, thanks for watching How to HubSpot, and I'll see you in the next one.